the honorable of the judges and to the audience blessed by Allah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. All praise and thanks to God Allah, the Lord of the world, the King of the kings and the master of the day after. May peace and salutation please be upon to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam who has brought us from the darkness to the lightness. And I don't forget to say thanks to the judges who gave me a little time to address this video. On this great occasion, I would like to talk about the awakening of youth. Okay guys, I'm standing here and giving speech. Not only explain about youth, but also I want to provide insight to consider our future. You and I, right here in today's world, we make decisions and learn everything to be an adult. But what do you think guys? Since you born until you die, do you want to be a trustless inhabitant or idiot? Even your descendants don't remember your name. But we are still confused. What we have to do in our youth? Even though we are stranger than a baby and an old person. Kala Sa'yati said, The power of youth is the common wealth for the entire world. The faces of young people are the faces of our past, our present, and our future. No segment in the society can match with the power, idealism, enthusiasm, and courage of the young people. Sister and brothers, it is so much pride and honor to present to you guys that we are can control the world. My philosophy is that everyone has strength, passions, capacities, and abilities. Meaning the fact shall never be beyond what is wrong with youth, but instead of how to use their possibility, creativity, invention, and endless dreams of energy to change the world. Okay. Sister and brothers, I ask to you, on many occasions, we hear the term of youth, but what is youth? How important is youth for our country and ourselves as Indonesian? Well, to answer the first question, youth is the time of life when a person is young and often means the time between childhood and adulthood. Youth is the stage of wielding self-concept. Adolescent self-concept is influenced by variables such as peers, lifestyle, gender, and culture. Namely, the time in a person's life when their choices are most likely to influence their future. There are more complex explanations about this, but the point of view are, the first, we are the power of change. The second, we are the change maker that has the key to will peace and procure and future generation. And the third, we are the search of strength to our country for world's glory. There is great statements. The prophet needed a lot of courage and more struggle. Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was conveyed in his message. I order that it go to the youth, because in fact, their heart are soft. Allah sent me with a religion that is strict and full of tolerance. Then the youth join in to support me while the parents oppose me. Everybody, let me tell you about a young boy, someone who conquered a very steady fortress in his time. The fall of Constantinople to the Ottoman Empire under the rule of Sultan Muhammad al Fatih marked the end of the Byzantine Empire. This young man managed to conquer Constantinople in world history. He succeeded in leading the best of troops and become the best leader. It is story proves that young people have more power to lead and even regulate world laws. Okay, because they are so far more fiery and stronger mentally and physically. Okay. They are able at their best in conquest and extraordinary changes. That's why today I stand here to speak up with our power. I believe that we are the time of youth awakening. We are the strength between the two weaknesses. We are Indonesian youth who are able to bring change to a more advanced civilization. I hope we are the young people who started the awakening. From the, dark, from the darkness to the era of bright light. Honorable audience, if you want to know 
the key of success lies in his thinking. Okay? His thinking. Margaret Thatcher ever said, What you're told for they become your words. What your words for they become your action. What your action for they become your habits. What your habits for they become your character. What your character for they become your destiny. In other words, what you, what you think you become. And rebel audience, that's all what I can tell you on this occasion. I'm so sorry if you found some mistake from me. Thanks for attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.